Welcome back everyone to another video. Back in 2016, Google announced its fully open sourced Fuchsia OS. Now that OS was running on a microkernel that Google had developed internally and it's called Magenta. This project has seen significant progress in the past year, one of them being the ability to boot the Magenta kernel on the Raspberry Pi 3. Before we get started, I would recommend you have a UART console in hand for quick debugging and stuff like that. The OS takes around 2 seconds to boot thanks to its tiny size of less than 600 kilobytes. This also goes to show that the Raspberry Pi might seem as a supercomputer in front of the devices that this operating system is actually being designed to run on. This OS boots up to a pseudo GUI mostly running a shell environment. This is based on SH and seems to be similar to most POSIX OS like Linux. First of all, this is not the full OS. This is just the basic Magenta microkernel and some other components. So the system apps directory is unavailable and only a few basic programs are available to run. For example, LSBLK works fine showing us the block devices connected to our device. Then we have the LSUSB command which shows the internal USB hub and my keyboard. Talking about the keyboard, not all of them work properly, however, my Logitech K120 worked fine. Then we have GFX text which displays colored squares. and then GFS Fractal which renders a fractal design on the screen. Due to the lack of documentation early on and my lack of experience with this OS, even with multiple tries I was unable to mount the SD card. At the end, I did a run test which runs a set of tests from the test directory after some time, it failed rather spectacularly. So this was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will do some more Fuchsia stuff uh, later on. This is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one.